highlights, Selena, of the CNN interview. Some of the broad, high-level issues he discussed here was, A, Twitter is a platform with outsized influence, but we actually don't have that many resources to deal with this problem. Something I thought he said was interesting was, we don't proactively look at abusive content. We wait for them to be flagged to us. So in the case of Alex Jones, reasons why we didn't take action early was because it hadn't been flagged to us, and once when it was, then we took action. Now, that leads to a whole series of criticism That's about- That's not what Facebook does at this point, right? I mean, I know Facebook also has an, 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 an appeals process where you can find content, but now they have thousands and thousands of content moderator, moderators. Facebook correct? and YouTube have the resources to have thousands upon thousands of these moderators, and Jack made very clear in his CNN interview that we don't have those resources, so you can come and criticize us for that, but we just don't have other options. Uh, that being said, I did talk to some critics who said they find it very hard to believe that in the whole interim period in which this has been a subject of debate that they didn't have people employed to proactively look through them. And the fact that they didn't shows that there was definitely some misstep going on there. Um, these remarks from Dorsey come a day after the president tweeted, social media is totally discriminating against Republican conservative voices speaking loudly and clearly for the Trump administration. We won't let that happen. They are closing down the opinions of many people on the right while at the same time doing nothing to others and too many voices are being destroyed, some good, some bad, that cannot be allowed to happen. Who is making the choices? Because I can already tell you that too many mistakes are being made. Let everybody participate, good and bad, and we will all just have to figure it out. We also sat down with uh, President Trump's campaign manager for 2020, Brad Parscale, who also talked about the liberal bias they, they, they saw, he saw at Facebook and Twitter. Take a listen. It's up to me to be a person as a leader in our party and someone that's um, uh, running the campaign to make sure that those companies are held accountable, that they do everything they can to try to kill those internal biases and to provide an even playing field for this country. So obviously both of their points of view make clear what uh, Twitter and Jack Dorsey are facing on the right and then you have the folks on the left saying how could you not have banned Alex Jones or how could you not, how could no one have flagged that? I mean Jack Dorsey has admitted that their employment base is primarily liberal left leaning also primarily young people working in their offices but that the reason why they're taking all of these steps to create these rules is so that they can combat against these biases and try to make as clear cut decisions as possible. Now on the other hand trying to come up with these universal rules about what is abuse what is her harassment what is hate speech that's a very difficult fuzzy thing to define in the moment that they roll out these policies, there will always be thousands and thousands of edge cases that don't violate those rules, but clearly are something that many would believe they should take action on. So they're really in a difficult situation where they're trying to be unbiased, but by making policies that are unbiased, they run into a whole host of other issues. Quickly, he, he, he talked about a lot of the things that Twitter does badly, but is there any indication that anything is going to change or that they're going to do anything differently or change policies? Well, he did say that he's willing to fundamentally rethink a lot of the core parts about the platform. For instance, they would consider de-emphasizing follower accounts, which has led to a lot of uh, fake followers, bots, etc. And they've also considered adding more context around tweets so that fake information doesn't spread as quickly on the platform. That being said, we have known historically that this company moves extremely slowly and they've had uh, adequate opportunities to make changes and we still haven't seen fundamental shifts, but hopefully we will we, we'll see those soon.